if you really just put a, your finger like this and just roll over your wool so then it will be softer and not tighter and the yarn won't be thinner over the time Now I'm all set to start my blanket. This is the starting of the slanted one. How I did. believe you should not watch straight here when you are knitting if you just do so it is going to spoil your eyesight the reason which I really do this is But yes, if it is the first row, you can because there is more chances to make mistake when it is the first row. I think that you should need or you should need and whatever pattern you have on your needle should just give you enough time to enjoy whatever so you really want to watch on television huh. everybody knows that knitting is a social social thing it allows you to meet and chat i think that there is some some face with pieces which which they really named their pieces neat sat neat and chat Facebook group Oh, 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 let me see. I think I made a mistake here. I almost miss, made a mistake. Thank God I corrected it. Just a time. Oh la la, oh la la. I thought it was going to be easy if 
you not see you or if not if you not keep your eyes on your needle but in the beginning first and second row it is not possible you just have to keep i mean one eye on your needle i love it when i really get a chance to work with to lovely color work the color seed is matching it adds my excitement and sometimes that excitement also leads to a fast may fast work correct it I'm going to correct it sometimes some mistakes are just okay You can see me doing this slanted knitting which I really call this. 
slanted knitting you know that it really comes like this in the beginning and it really goes like this up 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 and this is called slant knitting and and I'm making a blanket using this method this is perhaps my second effort making this slanted blanket everybody can just do square as you really know this you know that if you really do too much of square blanket then you tend to lose your interest in that what most of the people really do now what you really do is you always just do one from this other side of it and then you really change your wool just like this this you, all you really have to do is cross crossing this yarn from the behind as you really can see this is the front side of it and the back side of it looks let me show you after finishing this row okay The back side looks like this you know that you really can see small small this working this you know that small this working some people really use the word garlic gar, sorry guard stitches for this i must say it's a garlic this really makes me laugh you know i think that my knitting speed is somewhat like a bit faster compared to the compared to the most of the people i really need this i'm, I'm not going to regard me as a fast knitter but my knitting speed makes it did you just notice that I just from this back I just did not just add or did add any extra stitches to with a different color it's same knitting from both sides just watch you next time watch me next time okay what I'm really saying From back side, all you really do this this yarn crossing and knitting, same without doing anything. You really just move one one low stitches leftward from the front side only, not from the back side.
If you're wondering how much stitches I really have put uh, on this um, big batches, then um, let me just tell you. It is 90 stitches and I'll just do about 170 rows for one blanket. Not for one blanket, for one this thing. See this. And we'll just have 170 rows in total and three of it we need to complete one blanket okay so all we really have to do this repeat it the whole process you know that as user and so once it just this color becomes the 30 row and i have just added this one new color so if th this is 30 row this is 30 stitches sorry not rows this is 30 stitches this is 31 when you it really become 30 stitches and i added this new one after 30 stitches so it becomes easier so this also has but because this is just going to be this lower side of you know that and so that's the reason i just choose the dark color and so it has got this more of it also you will understand what i'm saying this when you really see the complete blanket up until now we just was just going to the left side of this left side of our work from now on so this point on work we'll just go to the right side of one each one stitch at a time okay let me start and show this to you how to do this there are 12 stitches of this light yellow in this needle now we are just going to need about 11 and then 2 4 6 8 9, 10, 11 so this time instead of going to the this side this time we'll just do this and you know that we just do and just like this we do this only one stitch at a time we just As you know that this is a garter stitch one of the most easiest stitch now again take this one and when we just go to the right side this we do this it's not that in this sometimes it is going to be confusing I really can understand even I myself get confused for a couple of rows but after that when I really see it I know whether I really should be going to the right hand side or the left hand side to make this pattern. again we just at the last one and so we just come to the right hand side you will just when it's when we really need uh, the back side of this blanket 
we normally don't do anything about this it is we just remove our stitches the color rise on front side of it only not to the back side of it watch me very carefully at this very point you really do this just changing the yarn as it is it's just the following the things that which you really do it on do an hour as we just do this on front front row mostly just the following as it is you can't control anything right this is so easy done that seed right look now now we are almost at the end of this row as you really can see this there is only two two stitches left to complete You know, unlike so many other people, I really don't like to play with patterns. I really just play with colors. Knitting slant is a lot better than square, but you know that sometimes you know that square blanket is also pretty interesting to do, especially when you are learning phase. But as you really grow up, your your growing up has to be shown in your work. And just because that you choose simple patterns, simple stitches, some people really call this garter, does not mean that it really should not be very beautiful. You know that sometimes simplicity is ultimate, authentic city. Look at this lovely piece of, you know that, 
blanket like this he really is completed now you know how to do this at the back side right now this is the point we go back again left side instead of right side so you must be thinking how come i really know about the about it's time to go to the left side right so when i have 16 stitches of this orange collar on my needle then it is time to go to the left side instead of right side you know that up until now we we're just going to this side now you need this also and you start knitting to the left side one one stitches at a time You must be remembering in left side, right side, we really would have needed this, this with this green one. But when we really move to the left side, we just, sorry, let me correct some mistake here, okay? So what we really do this is, knit one from here and then just change the yarn as it is. After watching this, I'm sure that even if you have never ever done the slant knitting, you are just going to be very comfortable. You might make mistakes, some mistake. Now, I am going to join my yarns. Two yarn, you know that this much. I just have this much only. So, I just need to join my yarn and here you go cross this cross this and this much one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve sometimes and normally I just do this up to twelve twelve to fifteen thirteen 
14 15 okay now this goes here and so also you really just do this pull it up to here now you do this pull it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and let's do this up to fifteen only now you really just pull this needle goes out pull this needle goes out and you really pull it from both side of this both pull it pull it pull it pull it pull it pull it pull it, pull it, pull it until it this to this now i have 30 stitches here and here so it's time for me to add a new yarn as per my plan you do this and you do this each time if you really have a 30 stitches of one color except this dark green it's time to add a new yarn You see this it's a, we are just moving to the left hand side with our slant one instead of how, which side to move it's just like after you just have one particular row so sometimes you really can move left side and then after some stitch a particular color then you really just can move it to the right side now as you can see this we are moving to this left hand side this is this is the slanted knitting as you must have guessed this
I have undone this at this side so you can see me knitting from this sometimes back and some more most of the time front one I think that uh, you let me show you how to do this in back from the back side also. From the back side normally as you really can let me show you before I see you. We move to the left side on from the front side only not from the back side. Sometimes you know that people go through which one is front and which one is back side. This is what so you. This side is a back side and in the front side you can't see anything. Look at it. This one is the front side and this one is the back side. This this really makes you figure it out this which one is front and which one is back. In back side we don't move. We just knit only. Just change the yarn as it is as on the needle and just knit it instead of moving side and left If in case you have not subscribed my channel age I'm just going to request you to subscribe it and you can also just post comment below you know if you like this if you like this kind of and definitely you are going to get more ideas more new designs here in my channel 